The new attack and defend game mode looks perfect for ranked. Overall, I think it would lead to a similarly entertaining and fun ranked experience, while also providing just a better competitive mode. Bro! I can't! I can't! This game mode is so While I don't think Embark made that change just because of me, I was wrong. And I too ended up hating TA ranked. But ignoring that, the biggest thing, whether you're worried about it or just curious, is where this game is headed. What is the future of the finals and is it nearing its end? The latter of those two is the easiest to answer and it's no. The game is not going to die, the servers are not going to shut down, you will still be able to play and get into games. Don't worry, Embark is not trashing this game. But the more important question is left still. What direction is this game headed, and what is it going to become? Because even though it may not be dead, as in you are still able to get into matches and the servers themselves aren't shut down, no one wants to play a game that has no community or feels like it's on life support, especially if you're spending money on battle passes or skins. Luckily, at this point, nearly three seasons in, we have enough data on both the player count and the devs' past actions and current actions to know where this game is headed. Ignoring the devs actions for now, we can see that the game has settled down from its initial peak to about an average of 15,000 players daily, at least on Steam. Obviously there's much more counting consoles and all that, but Steam is a good way to see how the player base is going, you know, what direction we're headed. So what does that even mean? Well, a comment from my previous video best explains it. This game will be a community game. Meaning it's not going to be a mainstream game like Fortnite, COD, CSGO, Valorant, or any of those type of games. But it will be its own thing, with a loyal community behind it. And that's totally fine. But having a community driven game isn't all good, at least for Embark. Because now your community matters. I mean, it always does for any game. But for a community driven game, it matters a whole lot more. Because now your base audience or niche matters way, way more than trying to cater or get that sweet, sweet mainstream audience. Because becoming popular and having a large player base isn't always a good thing. Because with more people means more doomsayers. Oh, I went down from 15,000 to 14,999. The game is doomed, dude. It's over. You're also going to have more haters who constantly complain about everything and you're just going to have so much more negative types of people come in because that's bound to happen when you have more people. But not only that, the corporate side will also get worse. The game will become more commercialized and squeezed even harder for profit since there's more potential for it now. You would think that more money to these companies is a good thing and it would stop there. But more money just means more potential for money for them. And the second they start to see it rise, they want it to rise even more. But even despite the issues with the audience growing or the issues with the corporate side, the game itself will change. Because with a mainstream audience, it has to appeal to that audience else they will leave. So the game then changes from the original audience that base loyal fan base to appealing to this mass audience so that they can keep on making this money and they can keep up that high player count and that projected growth you know and if you go against your niche community too much especially for a game which is held up and kept alive by said community well then yeah the game could absolutely die and will die if that is what happens so how do they avoid that obviously one is to listen to the community but more importantly is communication because not always can the community's wants happen. Like I'm so hungry. This is used for cleaning, but like I'm thinking like, would this be, would this, would this, would this, be, would this fill my hunger? No, probably would kill me. But my mind's still like, but maybe it would. Because if your audience is going to be mad, whether you communicate or not, it's at least better that they understand and accept that that is what needs to happen rather than riot or, you know, purposely not buy stuff so that you, you know, implement that change. Another is to keep it fresh with updates, events, or just anything else that gives the player a reason to hop on, continue playing, and keep it fresh in their mind. Because without that, players are gonna get bored and 
no amount of communication, how nice you are as a company is really going to keep them going back if they're bored and don't enjoy playing. So at the end of the day, it's a game. Usually it's used as an escape, but it's also meant to be fun an enjoyable experience. So keeping it fresh and keeping players wanting to come back and this is not as easy just saying it, you know, work has to be done into thinking of good ideas and thinking of good updates and, you know, putting in the work, especially if, you know, you don't have a big dev team or can't put in that work, but you need to try, you know what I mean? Now, one that might be a little bit more controversial, at least to people who play ranked, is that casual needs to be the main focus. Now, absolutely do not forget an abandoned rank that will not be good. But most of the work needs to be done in casual because that's where your majority of your audience is. And any new people that come in, that's what they're gonna play. Ranked is for the more extreme fans. And as a ranked player, I say this it needs to be focused and, you know, kept good, but it can't be the main focus. It needs to be at number two, too casual. And while there still absolutely should be an effort to get new players and to capture that juicy mainstream audience, it should never take precedent over your loyal and base fan base that not only has, is, and will for the rest of this game's life keep it alive. Because without them, this game would have died two seasons ago.